What's up, everybody? I am back with the Walgreens haul, like I told you. Um, for some reason, my Catalina, when you spend 20 and get 5,000 points, they've not been working um, when they scan them. So, And I've been getting over um, $20 worth of stuff. Um, so... Because this transaction was twenty one ninety seven subtotal, and um, they've said that they've not been working, so I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, yeah, and I only like thirteen dollars and seventy five cents to get to my next five thousand points. Also, um, but yeah, I did the dove deal. Y'all know I told you I wanted to go back and get, get that dove. <clears throat> so found me some doves I went to another store um, across town because I didn't want to go to the same one where Mr. H is working <laughs> trying to keep them going there okay so I got the um, Renewing Peony and Rose Oil um, Revised for Dewy Supple Skin um, they are 22 fluid ounces and that that one. Then I got the purifying detox with green clay. Don't know how that gonna work. And it and it smell it. At that store they didn't have a lot of dove to choose from. So it's a detoxing um, body wash. And then I got one I think I've had before, the rejuvenating rejuvenating. Pomegranate and hibiscus tea. I think this is the one I fell in love with um, before. Um, that. So you, as you know, they are five ninety nine each, and y'all know they say they ain't been working, but and they giving them back to me, but it say point coupon plus purchase. So, but they but they're saying that, that they're not working, so I don't know. That's weird. They end up giving them back to me, saying they're not working. I need to check out my other receipt then because I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. It is what it says here. Um wait a minute, I'm a little bit too far away. See, it says that. And I didn't look at that while we were at the store, so. But that's what it said. So, evidently, it gave me my points. It's looking like it's giving me my points, but then it's not. Um, yeah, I don't know. What else did I get on that transaction, y'all? Oh, I got some great scents. Um, air freshener and the powerhouse deodorizer. Yeah, these things, they smell good. Like, these right here. I like to use these. Air freshness. When you got a, a smoker in the house, they come in handy. <laughs> and, you know, it's a five, five in one. Like I always told you when I first discovered these, I did a video on them. Um, fresh linen. Spring Fresh Smoke Odor Eliminator and another Smoke Odor Eliminator. So I got two of those. Trying to at least keep a, a few of those on hand. And um, they're all a dollar each, y'all. And they actually, they absolutely work very well. So this transaction was twenty one ninety seven subtotal. The total was $23.73. And I got back one thousand eight hundred and ninety points. So I got um five thousand points, and these, as far as I know, getting the 
the Dove, I don't think they were in the points. Let me check my account. Let's see. Um, let's see. Walgreens. Check out the Dove deal. And I know I, I scanned, I had her scan the phone where you get, um, when you spend $20 and you get 10 times the points. So I did do that. So I got 210 points. Um, let me see the ad. Let me see what it says. And the ad for the Dove. Anyway, I saved $4.50 at 17%. And I only let $13.75 to get to another 5,000 points. So, open it up. And you know what? I'm going to have to start recording this because... The Walgreens app is always acting up. You can never go just go to it and go to what you want because it's always an app issue. Always. Like, that's crazy. But, um, yeah, I did say $4.50, 17%. And I got, um, 1,890 points. And then the thing is, y'all, I got this clipped to my account, and it's not working. Five by when you spend 20 on anything, and then it's, there's, it's not been coming off. Like, because my redeem coupons are right there, y'all, because my son went and got the soda yesterday, and then I had the Irish Spring yesterday also. They came off, but... The 5 by 20 is not coming off for some reason. I don't know why it's not coming off, but it's not coming off. Let me read the... It said online or in-store, and it just said multi-brand, but it's not coming off. So I don't know what I need to call them and see what's going on and why it's not coming off, because I did... A, a purchase yesterday with the body washes and it didn't come off. So y'all know I got them coupons clipped. I have more than enough coupon clipped in my account. <laughs> um I'm trying my best to have them but it's, it's just not coming off. I might try to do an order online and see if it'll It'll actually come off with the order online. Just to see. I don't know if I'll complete the order. I just want to see if it's going to come off. I'm looking for the dove, y'all. The dove deal so I can show y'all what I'm talking about. And I passed it some kind of way. I passed it. Come on, dove. 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 And that's not it. Now, I know I've seen the dove deal in here. Is this for the next ad? No. Oh, God. Maybe I'm scrolling too fast. Oh, there. It's on the first page, and I missed it. I got three dove, and the register reward didn't come. So I'm going to call them and let them know. Because it's supposed to be a register reward, and it didn't come. If it came out, the girl didn't give it to me. So I got to call them again, y'all. Because I know it was something. I got three of the doves. Then they'll come off. And then I'm going to tell them about the transactions I made yesterday and it not awarding my points. When, anyway, I got I to gotta call them. And I hate to have to keep calling them every week about something going on at Walgreens. But you know it's something that's not right. So she didn't hand me my um 
registry reward. Sure did not. So I'm gonna have to call. I gotta scan that receipt also. But yeah, good thing all you have to do is call them and let them know. And then I got my receipts from yesterday that I could call them and let them know about too. Because yeah, she didn't hand me any. Um, but and then another thing I bought some other gar garinanda oil and it rang up 749 when it was supposed to be ringing up 379 so she had to do me a, a um one of those little cards that i told y'all before and then i had to um she refunded it here put it on the little card and then i repurchased it here so i got a balance of Four dollars and something left on the card. Four dollars and nine cent left on the card because it didn't um it didn't ring up right. So anyhow, let's get to the next part of the uh the transaction that I did. Um This is the oil that I bought, y'all. Because what I did, I'm going to share with y'all one day what I'm doing. But um, this is one of the oils I'm going to try in my hair product. Like, y'all know, I told y'all um, my hair didn't grow back like it was supposed to after my chemo. And that was like in 2012. And I'm still trying to get it to grow back. And I've been mixing up something that actually have actually started to see some hair growth. So, yeah. And so I think I'm just going to try to add this in, in there with that and see how it works. Um, because it's the stuff that I, I don't know. God bless me with a, a remedy to, to work out. And it's it's been working out for me. Um. It's been like trying to grow. It's not like where I can just like not wear my ball cap, but it's it's sprouting up a little bit. So I'm thankful to God for that. Um, okay, so I told you the oh, it's the Guru Nanda oil or Nanda Guru Nanda oil. It's the coconut oil. And this is what I got, and I y'all know I would not pay no eight dollars. For this little bottle, cause that ain't me. <laughs> Y'all know I don't roll that way. And anyway, um, this is some non-drowsy, um, severe sinus medicine, cause me and my son been having some headaches lately. So I got this, and this cost um six ninety nine. So I picked that up as well. Then I got <laughs> some fiber ones because y'all know I need fiber in my diet. <laughs> and these are two for five. Got some more snack cookies, some Oreo cookies. Um, I picked up and they were $1.99. And what's the one? Oh, and I got since I, the other day I bought Scott's was it paper towels or tissue? Can't remember y'all. Will be the paper towel? What I think it was. I think it was tissue because I got two things of it yesterday, and they didn't have any paper towels, so I didn't get any paper towels. So I got them today. They only had one roll on the on the shelf. It's like every, all the shelves in the stores are like. Years. So I used 20,000 in points. So I ended up paying $10.56 out of pocket, say 22%. And that was $7.03 on this transaction. Um, so yeah. Um, but of that transaction, I ended up getting um 
$8.09 back. So, let's see. So, I might as well like take $4.09 out of the $26. And that'll make that what um, it would have been $22. And some change. It would have been $22 and some change, my total. And I would have ended up paying $2 and something out of pocket had that um, Guru Nanda oil rung up correctly. But I got a little card now that I could spend to go towards um, something else and, and walk in to go some, towards that $13.75 that I need to get to get that extra 5,000 points. Y'all know I'm about to get on the phone and call them about these purchases that I just made yesterday and today. So I'm going to look at my receipt. Hold on. I'm going to get that receipt. And the thing about that, I don't want to seem like I'm an abuser um, when I'm making these purchases simply because people may think that way. But if my stuff ain't ringing up right, y'all, it just ain't, I mean, it ain't right. Okay. So, yeah. Yesterday, I got the soft soap and the Irish Spring. And all I needed was like a dollar and 40 cent to get the, um, the 5,000 points for this transaction. So... Um, so that's why I didn't get the 5,000 points for that one, but I'm going to see, because I asked the girl to add it on there, but she didn't add it on. She was like, because you, um, it's already like a certain total. You shouldn't have to add nothing. It's just not giving you your 5,000 points, but all she had to do was add the, the candy that I had. So I'm going to explain it to them when I call about this. I'm going to see if they can go ahead and, and, and issue me some points for that one, too, because of the fact that I did ask her to add that on there, but she was she was like, it's not going to make a difference. So hopefully they'll see what I'm, understand what I'm talking about and go ahead and add at least 10,000 points um, to my account because I made several transactions at the store and I want to get my points. If I don't get my registry reward, I want to get my points. So, and I didn't get my registry reward. So I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to go ahead and end this video so I can go ahead and call them and see about getting my points added. Um, and I don't know about going back to the store to um, do any more deals if my points is not going to be added or my um rich awards are not going to be um printing out because it's too much of a hassle and then people misjudge you by certain stuff so and i don't want to be that person that is always complaining about my stuff not adding up or get i'm not getting my registry rewards and stuff like i haven't been using like the the paper coupons, I, I've been using just the, like the digital coupons and sometimes the stuff don't come off right or I don't know. It's just seeming to be an issue. So I don't know what I just need to take a break from just trying to coupon and, and try to work on some other stuff. I don't know because it's always something, especially at Walgreens and then... Um, well, I don't do it a whole lot. At, I don't coupon a, a whole, whole lot at Dollar General. Um, but 
Yeah, I've had issues with like my stuff not like the coupons that didn't come off today that I bought two items. Y'all saw the dove deodorant and then the dove body wash that I bought and they didn't take the coupon and they didn't even try to push it through. So even though coupon is like a relaxation for me, like a, a like a soothness, like just something that keeps my mind off everything that's going on in the world. It's just something that I like to do and it's kind of addictive. Um, and I like doing it, but um, we're going to have, as couponers, we're going to have hiccups every now and then, but um, sometimes it's just, it's too much. <laughs> I don't want to stop because, it's, like I said, it's like a stress reliever for me. But if I'm going to have to end up calling in every week to, to Walgreens and um, stuff like that, it's, it, it's just beginning to be too much of a hassle for me. But um, I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video so I can go ahead and um, scan the user seat and then tell them about the issues that I had with the um, other stuff and try to get it rectified today. And I was going to do something at Family Dollar, but I changed my mind because it's not like $5 off anything. It's like you got to buy either clothes or home goods or whatever, and I just didn't want to have to go through all of that. And then I was going to go back and see about getting the lashes, the, trying to try the magnetic lashes to see if it'll help define my eyes a little bit because my, you know, my stuff don't grow back like it did before. So I have to draw stuff on, and sometimes my precision is like, well, y'all, um, but anyway, I was going to try the magnetic lashes to see how they work, to see how I like them. And, um, but see, they're going to have a sale, another sale on them tomorrow, I think, uh, or either a extra book back when you buy $10 or something. So I probably just wait on that. But let me go ahead and call um, Walgreens to try to get this um rectify it, like I said, and explain to them what happened uh, with what um, I was trying to do yesterday to get my points. Um, some ha something happened where it the M&Ms that I bought that I was trying to add on, onto that transaction, um, the girl ended up telling me that I didn't need to because my total was, was already at a certain amount and she said that it wasn't going to matter. It still wasn't going to scan the the, the, um, the Catalina thing. So, But I think it would have mattered had it been like a couple more dollars, almost, well, a dollar and 40 cents. It would have probably added those 5,000 points. But um, I'm just going to call and explain to them what happened. And then I'm probably going to... Maybe just use my points from from for a while instead of just because I don't want to I don't want to leave a bad taste in nobody's mouth. I don't want to like be to the point where I'm aggravating because I know, like I said at the other store that I went to across from town from me, that there's a nice looking little young lady that works there. She's pretty. She. She has a, I think she wears a weed, but um, she's short and she's, I don't know, she just kind of got a little attitude where she don't want to deal with, I guess, couponers, I guess. I don't know what the issue is because she doesn't know me and I don't know her. So, but I noticed like she has a certain type of attitude, you know, when there's an issue and they have to call her over there. And, and maybe a, a lot of them are like that. They don't like to be bothered, especially when they're trying to get stuff, other stuff done in the store. And I don't want to be that person that be like, you know, where they be like, um, oh, there she go again. I get tired of her. You know, I don't want to be that person. Because, I, I mean, when I feel like it's getting to that point where they just acting funny or, or getting tired, I'll start going to another store. A, you know, a few times, and then I'll, like, eventually come back, you know, I try to give them a break, because I know it could be overwhelming with people that's, with 
the amount of people that's doing couponing and stuff. So I try to like um, venture out to different stores and not go to the same store all the time, even though the stores that I um, can go to are like near me. I try to like still, you know, venture out and go to different stores because I don't want that. Um, I don't want nobody to be annoyed with me with couponing. And you can't, you know, change how people feel about you or the situation or whatever. But, I mean, if you can help it, you know, try to. <laughs> um, yeah. Because <laughs> I, like, I don't like that feeling, like, you know, seeing people be a no. I don't like that because I'm, I'm like, I'm not that type of person to try to annoy you anyway. But I know it, a lot of people just don't like couponers period <laughs> they don't like to deal with deal with it even though you know if they get on the bandwagon they'll start saving and being able to you know get on scan these receipts and um get that money back with fetch rewards and all of those different other apps and and probably enjoy it <laughs> try it you i mean because i used to be like that i i used to wouldn't mess with it because i thought it was so time consuming which it can be time consuming, but it's also um, a way to just keep your mind off other stuff and that you're focused on what you're doing and trying to get that right. You're not fo focusing on the negative stuff. So, yeah, I like it. <laughs> so far, I like it. Um, but anyway, and also, when you get those filler items, like if it's something that you don't use, you can always bless somebody else with it. It's so, so easy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, y'all, know that God loves you. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Stay blessed. Stay prayed up. Stay up under the anointing. And stay couponing, y'all. <laughs>